Persuasion Skills, Part 2. Welcome back, everybody. Today we'll start with morphing forward. We're going to pretend that we work on a team. And all of us are going to be in what is called personal development. I'm going to change those words to morphing forward as a team, which means document what flows well. If something is working, it must be worthy of recording. So this is improving brand messaging consistently. It's a corporate culture, a pattern of, oh, that works, <laughs> write it down, add that to our script, right? So we together as a team have a spirit of elevating our word structures. Can you smell it? Do you feel it? All right. It means that all of us on this team are dedicated to improving the team script. Notice not personal, but team script. I'm going to help myself say it better, and I'm going to help everyone say it better. You are, this is an overstatement just for dramatization, so don't take it literally. Nobody comment. All you are is a communicator. See how, I mean, obviously you're more than that, but just for a minute, try to believe all you are is a communicator. Persuasion artists communicate worth. They communicate value. They communicate emotion. See how you got to break that word apart to figure out what it was? What did he say? Is he, in is he dumb or is he an intellectually in, in, on purpose re-emphasizing words. Sorry, I got off track. All right. We, as skilled professionals, communicate on their level. Who's there? Their level. We have to connect with the crowd better, communicate from their starting level, and rise together up to the full value. So, it's best to commune. The word communicate can be broken apart and studied. Etymology, the history and the joy of enjoying words. You're going to use words a lot in this life, kind of like oxygen. You might as well learn to enjoy words. Don't be afraid of etymology. In fact, you should be ah, curious. What is etymology? I've never heard of that word. It's because it's a word describing words. What? All right. Co-mune. Break it apart now. Break it down. Unpack that box. Co means two or mo parties. There must be a co. No co equals no co. See, a co is, is a company and co, right? You will not have a company if you're not a communicator. Because nobody's going to be on your team. All right. Mune, so we got co, which means two or more. It's a team sport. And then mune is muse. Musing is mind motion. Mentally, it's munching or mulling on a concept. To awe muse it means to be more filled with awe than to actually muse. We go to a museum to ponder the past. Uh, here's a surface level definition of muse. Webster's 1828, which is the apex. It captured the pristine hallmark, the apex of the English language before it started into decline. So we go back to the best, right? Webster's 1828, you can look it up online. The surface definition means to ponder, mm. to think closely to study in silence it gets better next page properly second definition don't you love words that have depth of meaning if they had no purpose at all it just means one thing no that's called a synonym that's not a definition that's not even a full unpacking of the box definition two you're gonna like it are you ready Properly, muse means sing a song, sing along. It means to develop a song. It's derived from deepest thought that eventually merges with 
emotion. Here's the illustration. Back in the day, the genius of poetry was referred to as a muse. So the poet would say, Sir, sing to me so that I may thereby be inspired to produce a better prose. The poet and his muse. Muse is musician. Musician. Huh? Females specifically want evidence. They want proof that you love. Show me, prove to me your love. Sing me a song. Outburst into a Broadway special just from your heart. Express all of your thoughts and all of your emotions that you have toward me in the form of free verse. Outburst. Sing a song. It's a spark that causes the poetry to flow. I found this joy for my soul is forgiven and free. What kind of joy is this? It's just a song back from, I think, the early 90s. But that song has been rolling in my head today. That's musing. Musing. Definition number next one. Number three. Muse means deep thought. What does this have to do with persuasion? <laughs> You're developing a persuasive personality to help others. And you will not do that if you don't engage your own intellect. So definition three, back to this flow, <coughs> pardon. Deep thought, close attention or contemplation, which abstracts the mind from passing scenes. Hence, sometimes appearing as absence of mind because they're so focused elsewhere, it means moving the mind to somewhere else. If you can move people, you must be able to move them mentally. You do that through wordises, wordises. Muse, expressed as a verb, a verb. It means to hum or to barely mutter, as some persons do when steadily occupied. Hmm. Muse, next definition as a verb, it means to wonder. To think upon a specific object of intrigue such that one meditates thereupon. Additionally, with rigor and fullest engagement followed by an emoji, right? Let's be persuasive people. We can persuade this world to be a better place if we can learn and use these skills.